Greetings, nerds and nerdettes. Everybody's favorite internet nobody. Nismo Spool in here. Coming at you again with another video. And today, I figured that I would show you guys how to set up a gaming or high refresh rate monitor so that you don't screw it up and do it wrong, which a lot of people do. There are many different types of high refresh rate monitors. There is, you know, you can have 70 hertz, you can have 144 hertz, you can have 240 hertz, etc., etc. The list goes on. Anything over 60 hertz is considered a high refresh rate monitor. And you could have the best and most powerful system in the world, but if you don't have a monitor with a high enough refresh rate, all of those frames are going down the toilet. So, you've gone out, you've found yourself a monitor of your liking, something that has a refresh rate that you feel like that your PC can keep up with. So, if you've got a 144 hertz monitor, you want something that can, you want your PC to be able to maintain 150 frames per second in your respective game. Uh, 240 hertz, you know, 250 frames per second, etc., etc. You want to make sure that your lows frame rise, your lows frame wise are the same as the refresh rate of the monitor. Got it? Okay. So you've you've got the system. You've found a monitor that you like. Let's set it up. You've got your monitor. It's either on the stand on your desk or on a vase mount. Whichever way you want to do it. Now, a lot of gaming or high refresh rate monitors comes come with all the cables that you need inside of the box. Some of them don't. Like this little Asus doohickey right here did not come with a DisplayPort cable. Um, this MSI one back here did. And so did this uh, Asus ROG one that I have here. But not all of them come with the cables that you need. Some of them... Older ones will come with a uh, dual link DVI cable. Uh, newer ones will come with uh, HDMI cable and possibly the one that you want, which is DisplayPort. If you have not gotten a DisplayPort with or a DisplayPort cable with your monitor, you might want to go to uh, Amazon or something like that and find a good quality DisplayPort cable to plug your monitor in to your GPU. Make sure that you're plugging your monitor into your GPU. Here I'll put up on the screen a video of the cable, where it needs to go from your PC to your monitor, and that is your monitor hooked up with DisplayPort cable. Now all you gotta do is hook up the power. If it has a USB hub on it, you need to hook up your USB hub, etc, etc. And now we move to the desktop. The desktop. Desktop. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this. And this is the most forgotten part. People buy their high refresh rate gaming monitors and they neglect to set it to the refresh rate in their desktop. So, what we're going to do now, this there's two ways to do this. You could either do it in the NVIDIA control panel or you can do it in your display. This is how I do it. And... I mean, either way works, but this is the way I do it. So right-click desktop, go down to display settings, go to advanced, oh, not that one, advanced display settings, and give that a good old-fashioned click. Now, it will bring you up to advanced display settings here with your monitor, the Asus ROG XG279Q is the monitor that I'm using, and it tells you your resolution here, your refresh rate, and blah, 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 blah. To set it to the refresh rate that you want, you go to Display Adapter Properties. Bring that down. Sorry, my camera's blocking this. Here you go. Now you can see it. And it will bring up this little white box here. You go to Monitor, and it says Screen Refresh Rate. There's a drop-down box. 59, 60, 100, 120, 144, and this is an overclocked monitor, so it goes up to 170. So I have picked 170. Overclocked monitors can have some flickering issues, um, but 
I do get those flickering issues with this monitor, but it's not really that big of a deal. It goes away after a little bit, and it doesn't really bother me too much. So, 170 hertz, apply, okay, and ta-da, you are set to your high refresh rate. You can also go down here, right-click your little, if you have uh, an NVIDIA GPU, you can right-click here. You can go to your NVIDIA control panel. And it'll come up right here. You can go to your change resolution in your display. And you can also set your refresh rate here. It's exactly the same as doing it on your desktop, except for you have to use NVIDIA control panel. Does the exact same thing. You make sure that it is connected with DisplayPort. And that you have it set to the resolution that you want it to. And that's how you do it through NVIDIA control panel. I hope you found this video helpful. If you recently bought yourself a high refresh rate gaming monitor, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. I've been Nismo Spoolin, everyone's favorite internet nobody. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon, night, whatever time it is for you whenever you're watching this video. And I will catch you in the next one. Hey, it's me. It's been a while. This about sending you a look. Can you do a, a close up for me? I'm dead! Thanks, Hanzo! Dang it! Hey, 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 hey.